Good afternoon. Good afternoon, ma'am. Can you tell me your full name? My name is Mansi Sharma. What shall I call you? You can call me by my first name, Mansi. Do you work or study? Uh, right now, I'm doing my post graduation in business administration from Chandigarh University. Do you like your studies? Yes, I like my studies because I have interest in this field and I want to have future in this field. Let's talk about social media. Yes, ma'am. Do you use social media? Uh, yes, uh, I use social media uh, on usually on the weekends because when I'm free from my studies. Do your friends and family members use social media as well? Uh, yes, all my family members are also on social sites because it helps us to keep in touch with each other. How can social media influence children? Uh, well, in my perspective, I think uh, social media is impacting children both in positive and negative ways because it depends on what kind of content they are watching. If they are watching some educational stuff, so obviously it will help them. But if they are watching some uh, violent um, stuff, so they will be having a negative impact on them. Let's talk about sweets and cakes. Do you like sweets and cakes? Uh, yes, uh, I love sweets and cakes and I believe that I have a sweet tooth. What is your favorite type of cake or sweet and why? Uh, my favorite type of cake is a uh, chocolate cake because since childhood I've always been fond of chocolate. So that is my favorite one. Have you ever prepared a cake by yourself? Although I like uh, cakes a lot, but I have never tried baking it because I never got the chance, but I would love to make one in future. All right. This is the end of part one. Okay. Now in part two, I will give you a two minute topic. You will have one minute to prepare and you have to speak for one to two minutes. I can stop you in between also. Okay, ma'am. Here is your cue card and this is your paper and pencil. May I start, ma'am? Yes. Okay, through this cue card, I would like to talk about a uniform which I had to wear. And this uniform which I wear was when I took admission in MBA. As I've already told you, I'm uh, doing my uh, postgraduate degree in MBA. So when I first started this college, uh, my teachers asked me that you have to wear a proper uniform in MBA because MBA is a professional course and everyone has to look professional. So they taught, uh, they gave us the instructions about the uniform, that what kind of uniform we have to buy. So basically it was a white shirt with, with navy blue trousers and a navy blue blazer also so uh, we I went to market with my mom and I bought that uniform the uniform is very good looking because it gave us a very professional look it had two pockets uh, on the blazers and as well as on the trousers so it uh, when I uh, first went uh, to the college uh, wearing that uniform I felt so proud because everyone in my class was wearing the same uniform it was giving a very professional look and we uh, could feel that we belong to that course or that universe and uh, everyone was feeling so good and once the class started everyone we had to give the presentations in that uniform so uh, the vibe was very different at that time that you have this professional look and you are giving that so the overall uniform look was very good and our teacher were also impressed that we have this uniform and I feel that this also connects me with the university and with my teachers and with my classmates that they, we all are one and we belong to the same department although every department has their own uniform but when we go for uh, MBO, we have a particular uniform belonging to MBA department only. So that was a uniform which I had to wear, uh, which I had to wear. You said mom try to use mothers, so a little bit formal. Okay, ma'am. And you said dress was good looking. You were looking good in that dress. Okay, okay ma'am. Can I have paper pencil back? Sure, ma'am. Now in part three, I will ask you a few questions related to uniform. Okay, ma'am. What are the advantages of wearing a uniform? Uh, as I've already mentioned, that advantages of uniform include that it gives you the unity between the people you, who are wearing the same kind of uniform. So it gives you a sense of belonging to that particular institution. And what are the disadvantages of wearing a uniform? Disadvantages are that uh, sometimes people are not comfortable wearing the same kind of uniform because people are from different backgrounds. So not everyone is comfortable wearing that uniform. Okay. Should employees wear a uniform? Uh, yes, employees should be wearing a uniform because it gives them a sense of belonging as I've already mentioned and it gives them a professional look and it obviously enhances their personality. Do you think that wearing a uniform increases the employee's loyalty to the company? 
Uh, yes, I believe that uniform plays a very important role because uh, when you're wearing that uniform, you have this sense of loyalty towards that uh, institution or organization where you're working and you have this uh, mi mindset that you belong to there and you have to work hard for that company or uh, institution. Should companies seek employee feedback on the design of their uniforms? Uh, I believe it is a must because the people who are going to wear that, they should be comfortable in that. So before uh, making a uniform or a code for uniform, uh, they should be asked about their opinions at what kind of uniform they will be feeling comfortable in. Do you think people should wear clothes that reflect their personality? Uh, definitely. I believe that because if nowadays uh, clothing plays a very important role to enhance the personality of a person. So when you uh, uh, wear different kinds of clothes, it shows that what kind of a person you are. For example, if you're wearing very bright colors, that shows that you are a very joy person or where you, you are an extrovert person. Whereas if you're wearing dull colors, it shows that you are an introvert kind of a person and don't like to talk much. So it shows your uh, personality through your what kind of clothes you're wearing. All right, this is the end of your speaking test. I thank you, ma'am. For this kind of speaking, you can score 7 to 7.5 in real exam. Thank you, ma'am.